two simple but useful tools to assist you in writing technical documents are the spelling and grammar check and the thesaurus tool. Before we look at specifics, let's look at some general settings that are available to you. If you go to File and choose Options, in the Word Options dialog box, choose the Proofing group. These are Word autocorrect options that are preset and that you have control over. For example, the autocorrect options. Several tabs here. The first one, autocorrect. For example, this checkbox means that it will correct two initial capitals and change them to one initial capital. If you have this selected, you will capitalize the first letter of all sentences. And if you don't, then it will accept what you've written in that regard. Capitalize the first letter of each table cell. I don't like that, so I leave that shut off. Capitalize the names of days. Yes, that's useful. Correct the accidental use of the caps lock key. If I leave that key turned on, and I suddenly I start typing and everything's in caps, Word recognizes it and changes it back to the sentence case. Another useful tool. Here we have replace text as you type. So any of the symbols or words in the left column are automatically rewritten to the form you see in the right column. For example, here's a number of frowny faces and smiley faces. Here's a collection of arrows that can be drawn using various keystroke combinations. And then a whole collection of words that are commonly misspelled, either because we don't know how to spell them or maybe just a typo in the course of trying to type it out. You can add your own or delete these. For example, I never use the copyright symbol, but I do occasionally type the letter C in brackets, and I don't want the copyright symbol. So if I want to delete it, I simply select it and click Delete. And if there's a symbol I want to include here, I would simply type it in and click Add. There are some exceptions that you may want to look at. All of these abbreviations are words that should not be capitalized, and Word recognizes that. If there are others that you need to include, you could type them in here and click Add. We've already looked at the Math Autocorrect option, so I won't do that in this video. Some other auto formatting features, these tabs are pretty much the same. Straight quotes are changed to inwardly curved smart quotes. The ordinals, first, second, third, and fourth, are rewritten such that the letters are superscripted to make it look more professional when you have this selected. 1 slash 2 is converted to the fraction 1 half in mathematical form with this selected. And you can convert various hyphens to dashes. Okay. What else is here? Ignore words in uppercase with this selected. Word would not suggest that to be a spelling error, but if you unselect it, it would pick it up as a spelling error. Ignore words that contain numbers. Ignore internet and file addresses. Certainly these are not normally spelled words and they should not be flagged as being a spelling error and so ignore them is correct. But you do want to flag repeated words so that's a good selection here. Check spelling as you type, sure. Mark grammar errors as you type, very useful. Frequently confused words are identified and check grammar with spelling. So knowing what tools are available in the autocorrect options can save you a bit of time and save you some aggravation in the long run. Let's look at a specific example. Here's a sentence. With their lab equipment, students can separate a slurry by filtration. Word identifies a grammatical error with a blue underline and it identifies a spelling error with a red underline. To make the corrections, you can, of course, simply right-click on the word, and from the context-sensitive menu, choose the correct 
word to replace the incorrect word. I want to show you another method with a little more information. If you go to the Review tab and go to the Spelling and Grammar tool, clicking that opens up the Spelling and Grammar pane. It's much the same as the right click. Word identifies that we should be using the possessive form of the word there, T-H-E-I-R. I'm going to select it and click Change, and the change is made. Now we move to the first spelling error. Separate should be spelled with another A in it. Word finds that. I'll click Change. Now, if you had multiple occurrences of the misspelled word separate, you could choose to change all at once in the document, not just this one. And finally, here's filtration. It should really be filtration. And we'll say Change or Change All. Spelling and grammar check is complete. You're good to go. Okay. A last word here. Let's take a look at the thesaurus tool for synonyms. Here again in the proofing tool group, thesaurus. Here in the thesaurus pane, I have a word for which Microsoft Word will attempt to find a synonym. Now, that's not the word I want, so I would like to find a synonym for the word filtration. By double-clicking, it doesn't automatically load that. But I can copy that, Control-C, copy to the clipboard, and then select here in the search box, Control-V is paste, and then click the search icon. And now it's found some potential synonyms for this word, filtration. It's suggesting percolation, separation, purification, clarification, etc. Each of these is a heading for which there are many subsets. For example, if I click on separation, I get many, many variances of the word there, division, severance, partition, and so on. I'm going to backspace up here. Let's say I want to use the word percolation. If I hover over the word, this list arrow to the right can be clicked on and then drop down to insert and click on it, and the job is done. So a very handy little tool, thesaurus, for writing your technical papers and reports.